everybody, welcome back to Pronunciation with Emma. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite websites and apps and tools that I use for teaching online, checking students' homework, etc. If you're more interested in the tech side, so you're more interested in finding out how I use all of this stuff in my lessons, I will leave a video to that in the description, as well the kind of software that I use, so Skype, Zoom, whichever, I will also link that down in the description and you can watch that video too. So the first one I want to talk about is a whiteboard app. It is completely free, it's actually a website so you don't have to download anything. It's called AWW app, whether that's how they pronounce it or not, I don't know, it could be OW app, I don't know. Anyway, it is essentially a whiteboard tool that you can use with your students. It's really nice for collaborative work, so you can share a link with your students and they can also draw and collaborate on the whiteboard. You can save the whiteboard and send it to the students later. It's really, really useful and it's completely free. The second one, if you want to record your screen, so maybe you want to record a lesson and then send it to the students later, I highly recommend Loom. Again, it's completely free. You just download that and you can record your screen and send the link to the students later and they can watch the video. So it's really helpful, especially if you don't want to send large files and stuff like that via email, you just send them a link and it's done. Now, if you are teaching online, you probably have most of your materials in the virtual form as opposed to the physical form with lots of books and so on. So in order to store all of this and easily share them with students, you can use Google Drive. It's completely free up to a certain capacity. After that, you have to pay to upgrade or you can do what many other people do and just create multiple email addresses and keep using <laughs> different email addresses. But just upgrade, it's a few dollars a month or something like that. Or you can just get an external hard drive, it's up to you. I have both, so if I need to share documents with students I use Google Drive, but for the majority of my documents and things I keep them on my external hard drive. Now if students have some writing homework or maybe you want to collaborate on a document together during a lesson, you can use Google Docs for this. So you essentially create a document using Google Docs, you share the link with the student and you can type and both edit the document at the same time in real time. So it's really nice if maybe you're working on some writing activities together or something. It's really nice, really handy. Now one nice way to test students' vocabulary is by creating some flashcards and things for them. So you can do that using Quizlet. Again, it's completely free, so as the educator, the teacher on the website and on the app, you can create some cards for your students, you can also share those with your students, so maybe after one lesson you've been, I don't know, talking about animals, so you create some animal flashcards. You can also listen to the pronunciation, which is really nice, you can have translations on the other side, or pictures or whatever and what's nice about Quizlet is it does turn these into games. Students also don't just need a computer for it, they can use their phone, they can download an app for it and it's all free for them. So that's really useful if you want to revise vocabulary with them. Now I get asked this a lot, how do I do recordings like voice recordings, audio recordings to send those to my students? Now of course you can just use WhatsApp and whatever and send voice messages but I don't have all my students students WhatsApp numbers and maybe you don't too. So what you can do is record using Audacity. It's very simple to use, just press record and it's done. And then you can upload it to SoundCloud. So this is kind of two apps in one that I'm talking about. Audacity is for the recording or you can use QuickTime if you are on a Mac. If not, use Audacity. Then when you've finished, upload the recording onto SoundCloud. Then you can share the link with your students. Another idea to use with SoundCloud is to give students feedback on their speech. So instead of doing maybe writing homework, you can set them some speaking homework. So they record themselves, then they upload it to SoundCloud, they send you the link and then you can give them feedback down directly on it. So it's kind of like a timeline with the audio and you can select exactly where you want to leave your comments and so your student doesn't have to listen to the entire audio again and find 1 minute 32 seconds where they said something wrong or whatever. They can just see exactly where you left the comments. So it's much more effective. 
So to create materials, you can just use Microsoft Word or you can use Pages if you're on a Mac. But if you want to create something a little bit more exciting, a little bit more colorful, more beautiful, then you can use Canva. This is again, completely free. All of these that I've mentioned in this video are free to use. So with Canva, you can create your own whatever you need. Maybe it's a poster for your lesson or something. You can also tell students to use it for their homework. So maybe they create a poster for homework or something. Normally in a physical classroom, students will be able to draw the poster and you know show it in class. But in the online world, maybe they can't do that. They maybe don't have a scanner or the camera's not very good. They can't show it. So if they're created on Canva, they can create their poster or their leaflet, whatever, send it to you. You can check it and done. Now the final one that I want to recommend is probably not the most fun one, but I do get asked this a lot. How do I test my students? How do I create tests for students so that I can send it to them and they can, yeah, let me know how much they've learned? Well, in order to create tests, you can use Google Forms. So Google Forms is actually designed to collect information, kind of like a survey, but there is a feature where you can click and it will show uh, that you can make it into a quiz. So you just make it into a quiz, it grades it for you, you can send that link to your students, they can do that, and then yes, you get the results and you do whatever you need to do with those test results. So it's really handy if you want to find a way to test your students and you just want a really simple quiz like that. What's nice though, if you want something a bit more fun, is you can use Quizlet to quiz your students. So it's up to you how you want to do it. I find Quizlet is a little bit more fun compared to Google Forms, but with Google Forms you can see all of the data and information, which questions have students got wrong, etc. While Quizlet is more for just the student to test themselves to see how much they remember, how much they've learnt, so it's completely up to you as the teacher. Do you want something a bit more traditional, kind of like paper exams? Go with Google Forms. Do you want something where students just practice and review and test themselves and see how they're doing? Go with Quizlet. And that is it. Those are all the tools that I recommend. Uh, I'm sure there are thousands more. So if you know of any other tools that you use in your classrooms or that you know other people use in your classrooms, do let me know down in the comments and let me know which ones are your favorite ones, either from this video or ones that you use, because I would love to find out what other tools, materials and things people use. Please put them in the comments and I will check them out. If they're good, I will link them in the description as well so other people can check those out. So that is it. If you want to know more about the software I use, is it Skype, Zoom, whatever, I will link that in the, in the description for you. As well, if you're interested in the tech that I use, so what camera, webcam, etc., should you buy, whatever, I will also link that in the description so you can check that out as well. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you really soon. Bye bye.